President Donald Trump's tax returns have now been made public. The New York Times reports that President Trump paid $750 in federal income taxes in 2016 and 2017. The report also finds that the president paid no income taxes at all in 10 of the previous 15 years. Yeah, the New York Times hasn't released the full tax report, uh, tax returns. They say they're trying to protect the identity of the source who released it. But uh, also, part of this gives you a picture as to uh, the number of loans that are due uh, for the president, about $421 million in loans, most due within the next four years. President Trump hasn't said a lot about this. He called the report fake news. Um, but uh, he has not countered it by offering up his actual tax returns, saying that because the IRS is investigating him, he cannot or will not or both right. uh, release them. Well, he did call a press conference yesterday, and he did talk about this and somewhat, as you mentioned, calling it uh, fake news. But this is something that I think uh, the New York Times obviously has been working on this story for years now and has actually dedicated several of its reporters just to working on this story. If you remember a couple of years ago, they released partial tax returns. So some of this, you had an idea uh, that he probably wasn't paying uh, as much in taxes as he should or as people believe uh, that he should or as count accountants believe as he should. Um, if you look at there, you look at some of the, they go into very deep detail about where he made his money, where he lost its money, and, and it's interesting to look at. So let's separate this into two areas because the, on the one hand, you have the issue of how uh, Donald Trump dealt with his taxes. And uh, what anyone, and I will tell you when I asked uh, Trump supporters on Twitter, what's your reaction to the report? Uh, basically, it's a universal reaction that says, if he did this legally, we don't care that he paid almost no taxes because that is what all of us try to do, which mm -hmm. is to minimize the amount that we pay. The question is if he did it legally. Right. Uh, there's a question about a big $73 million tax application refund. for a tax refund, right. whether that was legal or whether that was fraud. And that actually is important there because that is where the IRS has been investigating him for years for this $72 million tax refund because that is what is sort of offsetting some of these big losses so that you don't have to pay yeah. that income tax. Another big thing that came out of here was that he has hundreds of millions of dub loans that are due, uh, personal exactly. loans that are personally That's the second part, right? Him. Right. And if these loans start coming in in 2021, 2022, think about this. If he is the president, what are the banks going to do? Will they will they force him to pay those loans, force a foreclosure, I mean, force a, a bankruptcy? So there's a lot of discussion there about that idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's you know as is typical of politics today if you uh, don't like the president you are outraged and stunned by this. If you like the president you are saying, you know, I mean, we knew that he wasn't paying much taxes. We knew his golf courses were failing and his casinos. Uh, he's a brilliant businessman. And so t the question is, are the people in the middle, which we know there aren't that many of them. And you've looked at the polls over swayed? time, right? And the polls over time really haven't changed haven't that moved, much. Right. And a lot of things have happened that you, some people uh, in previous administrations would think that it would sway people to change their mind, yeah. but but this has not. It really hasn't. Times. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I mean, we'll, we'll, I guess we will see the New York right. Times saying they have more to report on this. This is just the first uh, of their reporting. So we'll see what else comes out.